What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SOP. I am your host, Enzo the God. If you don't already know that, if it's your first time tuning into the channel, do us a favor, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content. But as of right now, guys, let's get to what I want to explain to you. All right, as you can see, the Mach 1 is pulled off the wall a little bit. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it was really up close, up against the wall, just because we needed it out of the way since we're obviously opening and closing the door and stuff like that. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the Mach 1 and put it on some jack stands. Probably just the rear right now. I'm probably gonna have to go buy some other stands for the front, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, finally get into some, some detail and show you guys. More than likely, I'm gonna fix it right now. Uh, do you guys remember when I was talking about this side skirt? This one right here? Well, do you guys remember um, me telling you that when the door opened, it would hit the side skirt. Well, if you don't, you see that right there, that little indentation? Well, that was the door hitting the side skirt. Now, that means the side skirt was pushed up. The reason it was pushed up, well, let me show you. The reason why it was pushed up was because of this. Now, you see this seam right here, right? Hold on, let me see if I, there you go. This seam right here. Now, you see how it's sticking down right now? Well, when I first got under here, it wasn't like this. Um, I had to go ahead and hit it uh, because I wanted the side skirt pulled down. Now, originally, I didn't think that this was my issue. I didn't think at all. I honestly thought the frame was tweaked. I was like, dang, I'm gonna have to buy another shell. Uh, this one I have to kiss it goodbye. And that's pretty much it. Well, my grandpa pretty much told me, go underneath and just check and really do some more research and see exactly if it's gonna be the frame or it might be something dumb. For the most part, anytime that you guys work on cars, you guys know that it's always something dumb. But, as of right now, I just wanted to get down here and show you guys that I, I went ahead and straightened this out and it pulled the actual side skirt down and then, look at that, perfect seam. Now the door doesn't hit with this little spot right here anymore. And today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other side. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how it looked before. Let's get to that. Okay, perfect example. All right, you see right here, this little piece right here is actually a little bent. See this one right here? See how it's, it's ugly? Well, this is mainly where you put the jack stands. It's normally around this area where you put them for the front. But if you notice, it starts to get flat right here. Right, you see that? But now the side skirt itself is hanging loose down here. See that? See how it goes from straight, 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 and then it just loops? Well, it's because underneath here, which I will show you, is flat. I need to bring that back down so I can go ahead and get an even spacing. Because you see this right here? The side skirt's already cracked. So that, that leads me to believe that whoever was driving this car either went up a curb or hit a speed bump at 100 miles an hour or something because that means the car literally planted to the ground and caused all this damage. Now, inside the car where the actual, where you put your feet, there was little bumps. I went ahead and hit those out and it's back to normal. But I want to go ahead and hit this seam so I can get that gap that the other side had. So right now, as you can see, it's pretty tight, pretty tight and then it's cracked. So I'm gonna need to get a new side skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, but first, let's lift up the car, assess the damage a little bit more, and then get to work. All right, you guys see this right here? This is all damage. All of this is damage. And then it goes flat. So. This right here is what I'm gonna fix. This is what I have to hit. See, it's all flat. See how my finger goes like this? And then when you get over here, my finger starts to straighten out and go forward. Well, this right here is causing a lot of damage. Holy crap, here's some more right here. I'm not sure if the camera will really show it. I don't think it will. Let's see, boom, right here. All this, flat, damaged. Man, that's gonna be really hard to fix. 
Well, only one way to find out, right? Let's get to work. So I was only able to take out one, but I, as I'm looking at it, I can actually tell that they try to um, screw it together. They try to put screws in here to hold it up and not dangle, but uh, it wasn't really a smart choice. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start hammering away because it's really warped in there and it's really bent and um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think this tool as much as, much as I thought it was going to help me right now, it's not going to do much help right now. So, let's just go ahead and grab the hammer, grab a chisel, and let's just do it caveman style. guys look so I'm gonna have to remove the side skirt the side skirts dang in a little too much and it's not allowing me to have the space that I'm looking for so I want to start from where it's flat and work my way down but since the side skirt is dangling and it's like pushing down I need to grab that rod and like push up against it and it's making things a little bit more difficult so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the side skirt as much <laughs> as much as I think I'd I think that might be hard. I feel like it might be easy, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove that right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get back to the hammering because it's getting late and I do have a movie that I have to go watch after this so let's just uh, Let's get to work All right guys as you can see Got the side skirt almost off I think it's still connected to one pin over there but I also wanted to show you guys since I was already here ugh, and we removed the uh, rear tire do you remember the springs and the uh, adjustment for the spring I was telling you about the maximum motorsports ones well this is how it goes see that right there it adjusts from there uh, I still don't know the brand of these springs I don't know if these are um, OEM springs, aftermarket springs, I don't know. I really want to take them off. I'm more than likely going to remove and drop the whole differential just so I can go ahead and clean it up, paint it, and um, really see what needs work down here. I can clearly tell that there's some bushings and other things just from here I can see it, but I really want to go ahead and paint things, make things a little bit prettier, and then really get in here and paint this black as well just because it has a lot of the overspray. I don't really like that stuff. So I'm kind of a, um, a neat freak. I kind of like things perfect, but not too perfect that I can enjoy it. I just want it to look presentable. It may not be acceptable, but presentable. Presentable is okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and start hammering this because I feel like I have a good angle now. So yeah, let's get to that. All right guys, it's a good thing I removed the side skirt. I'm gonna slide that over. So that's no good for us. But now we really have a good view of the damage that I was telling you about. Check this out. You see all this? See that? I don't know if you can really tell. But you see how this is flat and then this is not. So this used to look this, I'm sorry, this used to look like this. So we need to go ahead and get in there and hammer this back out because yeah we don't want that side skirt pushing up anymore so okay now that we have a better view let's get to hammering guys so check it out I went ahead if I'm a little out of breath it's because I was really swinging the hammer in here okay so there it is check that out it's now flat again now I did hit it a little hard in this area right here so I'm gonna have to go through the backside and kind of 
straighten it out a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and do that once I put the actual side skirt back on just because I don't know how far I'm back I need to push forward if that makes sense so as of right now I went ahead and fixed it all it's all flat now which is beautiful you can see you can see where I was hitting and stuff but you see right here there's actual dent right here on this one too so yeah like it literally looks like they hit a speed bump and they just went really hard or a curb but because it goes flat 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 and then the, then it goes shoop, dimple and then it goes right back to flat so at least we got that we need to remove all these little random screws that he put on or whoever put on there's another one here um, but yeah at least that's out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can get under there and also remove the drive shaft but I'm probably gonna have to remove the actual uh, exhaust so looks like that'll I don't even know if I can actually remove that because I don't have my power tool charge my uh, my gun my power gun um, I don't have it charged so I don't think I might do that today but if if all I can literally do is this today I'm happy with that because I went ahead and fixed that side I don't know if you can tell but it's also messed up over there hardly think you can tell but it's still a little messed up on the interior portion of it I'm also gonna go ahead and paint this right here with um, with like some bed liner maybe just because I don't want any rust to build up here uh, because now the meadow is exposed and it's no longer painted so I'm gonna more than likely do that before I actually put the legit side skirt on or um, maybe when it goes to paint I'll leave it like that and I'll just tell the guy hey make sure you know that doesn't stay exposed but as of right now, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy, pretty happy. Alright guys, see, I went ahead and put the side skirt back on now that um, I went ahead and flattened it out. But, just as a quick a little mock-up, just so you guys can see the spacing now. See what I mean? Like I said, it's not put on all the way, but that's roughly how it'll look right there. Uh, this one's obviously broken. Right there. But, see, if you have the same issue, and if your door is connecting with your side skirt, or if you have a very tight little um, spacing right here, then at least now you know what to do. Go underneath, remove the side skirt, and tap those little shit, well I don't even know what to call this right here. This right here is what I tapped. Go ahead and tap that, and uh, make it smooth, and maybe that'll solve your problem. So guys, I wanted to ask for some help. I wanted to see if anyone out there that's watching the video right now knows a lot about the rear Mustang suspension. Now, I wanted someone to really get into depth and explain to me how to properly use these. Uh, as of right now, everything is going to stay. Um, I'm more than likely not going to put coils in the rear just yet, just because I want to see how this feels. I'm probably going to replace the shocks, um, if they're bad, um, and remove this quad and get another one because this looks like it's stock for right now, just because I have heard that leaving this setup is actually pretty good for just what I want to use it for. Um, but I do want to get coils for the front at least because I do like the stance look. Um, if these springs will help me with the height and all that stuff as well, that would be awesome. So when the time comes for all of this, I would really like someone with experience as far as for suspension to really break it down. If you know a lot about that, that would be very helpful. As you guys, you guys can see, I know I've said this in previous videos, but Cobra rear brakes which is always awesome hopefully these will get upgraded one day to maybe some brembos uh the rear and the front as well but we'll see uh how that goes as of right now guys thank you guys for tuning in thank you for watching me go caveman and i appreciate you guys like i said if you haven't already go ahead and like the video subscribe and uh see you guys on the next one